So what we're gonna do is, uh, it's called the twister roll um, from side control. Can I use you, Liz? Um, so we're gonna start from side control because that's what we're working on this week. Um, is side control and north center, sorry, side control and neon belly. So we're gonna start in back base side control. Again, we'll come back and look at this from a quarter guard scenario. What we're just gonna initiate here, get the movement down, and then we'll look at a separate entry. So remember, anytime we are in back base here, especially twister back base, I'm under the elbow. I am blocking my face here. Um, quick note, I always mention this and I always will. If I don't want Liz to try and grab my head, so back up. This is here because if it's not here, Liz is gonna grab my head and pull me the upward to cross face and it's gonna be unpleasant and it's not gonna work out for me. So if I don't want Liz to do that, I take my hand, I put it right here, okay? That way when she sees it and she goes, well, if I put my hand up there, I'm gonna get Kimura. Like, if she's up there, I grab her wrist, I push it down, my arm goes over her arm, we work the Kimura. I personally, I utilize this position a lot. I like to keep my hand here on most people because then she'll still reach for my head and then I can go for that Kimura opportunity. So if you want a visual deterrent, you don't want to mess around, go here. Like get a big, uh, huge person you're dealing with and you don't even want to deal with this fight right here, put your hand there, it's visual deterrent. Otherwise it goes here. But one way or another, we're blocking this portion of our head. Now, for this next movement, I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab Liz, I'm gonna grab the tendon right behind her leg. If I have gear, we grab gear on the outside here. And what I'm going to do, and we're gonna break this into small pieces, is I'm gonna pull this knee towards my leg over here, okay? Notice the placement of my leg, the leg is bent, my knee is against her hip, okay? Now, when I do this, her body is gonna shift, it's gonna to wanna to roll up on my knee, so as I pull this leg towards myself, I'm gonna scoot my hip back a little bit to create enough space. So I'm pulling this towards myself and scooting back a little bit, okay? Now, as I scoot back, my end goal is to have my ankle slash calf end up right under Liz's knee here. Okay, so as I pull this towards me, this is kind of my general uh, uh, area I'm looking to get to, but as you see, my leg doesn't articulate any further upwards at this point. So what we're gonna do is, as I pull this towards myself, I recognize that everything's going properly, it starts to land, my butt is scooting back, and I'm turning over like so, okay? Coming up to my knee. My knee is still in my hip, but what this ends up with is that my heel, or my heel, I'm sorry, my ankle ends up in her knee pit. Okay, placement is important. This will make sense, or this will be important on the other version of it as well, but like I said, it's easier to do it this way. So we grab, we scoot back, and I'm turning towards my belly all at the same time, okay? I want this to end up just above my ankle. I'm parallel or perpendicular to her, and I'm looking down towards the mat, okay? Last thing you're gonna do, leg comes over, and we lock down, okay? So all that's happening there is the leg that I just trapped her leg with comes up, goes under my own ankle, and then that leg goes over her ankle. So one more time. We're here, blocking the face, right? Doing all this. When I'm ready to go, grab, pull, turn, catch, catch. Questions? Could we see it with the leg angle differently? I just couldn't see the... Yeah. So here, turn, turn. Make sure you're turning down towards the mat. This is huge. <clears throat> catch, catch. Your top leg with your correct becomes your bottom leg. Questions? Let's do it. One, two. If I do this here, okay, and I come back, and let's say I lock Liz's leg up, that's not impossible here, right? But I'm relatively light, and most of my weight is on Liz right now, okay? Which a lot of times is what, she, what we want, right? However, in this particular scenario, most of my weight is on her top side rib here, like right, right here, ish. So I'm aware. Um, so with that in mind, um, if I'm just hanging out here, no matter how heavy I am, and not necessarily how heavy, but uh, if Liz rolls to the left here, then what's gonna happen is she's gonna work to take my back off of what I just did to her. She's almost retrucking my truck, okay? So when I turn to my knees here, A, it's gonna make it easier to make that alignment happen, right? That ankle to knee alignment, so that's nice. But it also allows me to put all my weight in the back seat and on top of that leg that I just did lockdown on, which means I'm utilizing a lever to keep her weight on this side, which makes it harder for her to scoop her butt under me. So same thing, but as I pull, catch, and go to here, okay, now when she goes to turn me, I'm heavier back here again. I'm using her leg as a lever. It's a lot harder for her to roll me and uh, 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 work to take my back here. So this solidifies the position and makes it less uh, of an opportunity for her to, uh, 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 like, like I said, re-roll my roll, okay? Lastly, it makes this next transition a lot easier, okay? So what we are going to do now is I'm going to come up, I'm gonna walk down this way, and I'm gonna put my left shoulder behind her thigh, 
okay? Do not try to do this next part under her butt. This is why. So we're gonna roll, we're gonna take the back. We actually move those a little bit more. Yeah, who knows where this ends up. Yeah. Um, if I roll under my partner's butt here, right? And you'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna roll right here. When I come over the top and I push her down, she's gonna come up to her knees. What I've done is I've created this like wedge underneath her that she rolls up on and then flips to her knees. I'm not trying to roll her to turtle. I'm trying to take her back. So when I go for this roll, I need to get out from under her hip. I do that by coming down here, okay? So lastly, it's easier for me to maneuver myself from this position than it is from when I'm laying on top of her, okay? So I come over here, I roll over my shoulder, you're gonna be looking towards the feet. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. Right here, I'm gonna undo my lockdown and I'm gonna plant my foot, okay? So we're essentially in a leg wrestling position, right? When I get here with the momentum that I'm bringing, what I'm going to do is plant my foot, scoop my hip out, and then slam my left leg to the ground. And that's gonna start the uh, rotation to bring me to her back, okay? It'll work better when we do it all together, okay? But again, the movement is I, I'm here, got her locked down, come down here, Go over the shoulder, open, plant, shrimp, stomp. Yeah, a lot going on. But the old open, plant, shrimp, and stomp. You guys know that one, right? So here, we move back, we catch the leg, we lock down, now we hang out here, right? A lot of time right off the bat. Liz knows this one. She's going to immediately try to work and take my back, right? I don't want her to, so I'm sitting in the back seat. I'm staying heavy, securing my lockdown. Come up, turn down under the thigh. Roll towards the feet, okay? You're gonna wanna roll this way. We don't wanna go that way. Here, under, roll, 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 open, stomp, and there's our back kick. You have to get your hip out from underneath their hip, otherwise you roll them to turtle. There's some functionality to that movement. I can come up on that calf crush right away. I can use it as a back take if I wanted to. Um, however, I would think of it as a working backwards in position from where you were originally. Hold up. Go this way. Leg, turn, post, hang out, right? All I have to do is stay heavy on her knee right here and we're in fairly good shape. We can weather a lot of storms here. Turn, roll, open, shrimp, stomp, and there's the back. Have your arms open, ready to catch her when she comes to you because she's coming in quick. This is one of those moves where it's kind of discombobulating for them as you're doing it. Be looking to set your choke. Questions? Let's do it. One, two, three. 